Hey everybody, this is Chad Armijo with Book Reviews in 5 Minutes or Less. Uh, today we're talking about Psycho-Cybernetics uh, by Maxwell Maltz. And uh, this one actually has the intro by oh, Matt Fury. So um, this is the updated version of Psycho-Cybernetics. And this book here is based in the personal develop realm, development realm. Now, this book is just as integral to personal development as uh, Think and Grow Rich or um, Science of Getting Rich or Rich Dad, Poor Dad, all these, these type of books. But this one is more of that uh, historical fashion. This is the kind of go-to uh, for a lot of these teachers or these beginner learners. But uh, Psycho-Cybernetics is a really, really great book. If you are into personal development, if you are into um, books on expanding the mind, uh, this is probably one of the best that you can pick up. Now, uh, Dr. Maltz, um, he was a plastic surgeon, and he studied at uh, some of the highest uh, learning institutions uh, in Germany, I believe. And when he came back, he had the... Um, he had the the <clears throat> the desire to help people to he wanted to use his plastic surgery to help people not necessarily to you know enhance their looks but to help them feel better about themselves so he discusses you know he would have these patients who maybe had a larger size nose than the norm and they would feel as though they were uh, outcasts or freaks or somebody that had a scar across their face due to uh, an injury of some sort or um, you know whatever it may be that these people could not see themselves as normal and so Dr. Maltz would talk about how he would you know fix them he would you know fix is is a loose term he would say they didn't sometimes they they was just that their their mindset on how their how they looked is what was really needed to be fixed. And so he would, you know, perform surgery on them. If, if somebody had the, the nose that was bigger and then he would put, you know, small, make it smaller and put it back in place. And um, what he noticed was that even though he would fix them, they would still have this underlying thought process that something is still wrong with them. And psycho cybernetics was developed because of this so what he realized was that the mindset of the person is what actually needed to be corrected versus the physical um, deformities or physical uh, traits whatever that that he was working on and so psycho cybernetics really delves into mindset it talks about how we perceive the world around us it talks about how we perceive ourselves and it talks about how we can step back and put into motion different techniques to to change our mindset so it works for us instead of against us i'm thinking back to when i used to wrestle and i used to have to lose a lot of weight to wrestle and anybody that maybe suffered from a, a, an eating disorder or uh, body dysmorphia, um, any of those type of issues, you know that your mind creates all these different scenarios of, of oh, I'm going to be overweight, uh, I, I can't be fat here, or you know whatever it is, we create these things in our mind. And so psycho-cybernetics is very good about how we can overcome these, these uh, mental issues and to really correct ourselves in many different fashions and instill the belief in ourselves that our mindset is what controls the world around us. So psycho-cybernetics uh, kind of brought forth the idea that change can happen in as little as 21 days. And Maxwell, Dr. Maxwell Maltz also discusses that, but he says it's 21 to 60 days is when he found it. But uh, the average was about 21 days that change took place. So if you are looking for change in your life, if you're looking for um, the ability to enhance your mindset so that you can perform better all around and maybe accomplish or reach for those goals you've never tried before, definitely check out cyber, Psycho Cybernetics. And I, I just, I've read this book probably three or four times now, and I can't wait to go back and, and read it again. This is Chad Armijo with five minutes or less, and we're getting close to that time. Hit that like button, that subscribe button if you want more, and we will see you on the next one.